The next type of error is very, very common. Okay, and it's very easy to do as well. Um, I, I've done it myself numerous times and um, it can really kind of uh, trip you up if you're not expecting it. Um, so if I go into my script, um, let's set our score back to 10 so that basically this condition will be met. Now instead of destroying the cube, I actually want to delete that. Instead, what I want to do is I actually want to rotate the cube. So if I just go to scene and cube, um, what I want to do is I want to change its rotation values. And what I want to do is this. I just want to click on the Y and sort of move it around like that. Okay, so I'm just going to set this back to zero. So in order to do this in code, I know exactly what I need to do. First of all, I need to access the cube. Then I need to access its transform, then its rotation, and then I need to move it on the Y. Okay, so let's do that in code. So we've already set up our cube, it's already there. So all we say is cube dot, uh, and then obviously the dot will give you all of the um, attributes that are part of this object. Okay, so there's quite a lot to choose from there. All right, uh, what I'm looking for is obviously the transform. So cube dot transform. Then I'm wanting obviously it's rotation. So instead of rotation, I actually would just want to say rotate. Then inside of brackets, obviously it's telling me what it's expecting. It's expecting a vector three Euler's. Okay, so uh, a vector three is effectively just these three numbers. It's an X, Y, and Z coordinates in 3D space. And I only want to move the Y. Okay, so what I'll say there is zero on the X, uh, maybe by about 10 on the Y, comma, zero on the Z. Okay, semicolon. Um, it automatically adds the white space for me, which is great. All right, it auto formats it. Uh, but what if, for example, I forgot to put in a comma? Okay, if I forget to put in these commas, notice this goes red. And it's telling me it's expecting a comma. So if I save this at the moment, let's go to our console. There we go. I'm getting a syntax error. So syntax error basically means it's, it's not being laid out correctly. All right, it's not being formatted correctly. And it's telling you exactly what it's expecting. It's expecting that little comma. It's telling you what line and what character number of this script. Uh, and by the way, if you've got a really long script and you're not sure where this is, you can just double click and it takes you directly to the point. Notice now I'm at that specific point where it's expecting the comma. So I'm just going to put a comma in there and the comma in there. And that fixes the issue. Save it. Those should disappear. Now, if I go to my main camera, and where I've got my cube, it's already associated, but what if I click this target and choose none? So now basically I've got an empty game slot. Let's see what happens now. So I'm just gonna click collapse. So we've got one error, and you can see it's running up every frame. I've got something called an unassigned reference exception. Okay, the variable cube of my script has not been assigned. You will probably see this a number of times as you're working with C-sharp. Uh, and it just means we've asked it basically to move this cube object on its rotation. But when it comes to try and find the cube object, there's nothing there. So it's basically saying, I can't find that object. It's an unassigned reference exception. Okay, easy enough to fix. Just drag the cube back into that slot and whoa, there we go. All right, sorted.